A Hello. baddie bra? Y'all ain't never had no baddie bitch? Hello? I have, man. I'm sure you have. The yeah. bitch just, just throw it off. She's baddie. Okay. Just... Bad. But I mean, what did she what did she do that constituted baddie? Like, did she? Who tapes a motherfucker sleep for fifteen minutes? No, you said the and she you didn't say that's sleep. not what, who you yes. said was baddie. <laughs> was this after you gave her some or before you gave her some? Do that matter? Yes, because it, she might have become baddie after hey, you gave look, her hey, some. You're right. She probably exactly. Tried that. So probably can you just answer the, the question? Like, right. It was after you gave her some and you went to sleep. I didn't right? give her none that night. You uh, gave her some the next night. <laughs> Regard that's not. See, the it is. I'm trying to you get said you to you see. Got it. Yes, I'm trying to get you to see what made her baddie. I'm just trying to help you. She didn't start off baddie, did she? I'm sick because I can't do no whole bunch of talking. I'm just gonna do my little piece and that's it. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I have a cold. Welcome to Questionable Content. I'm Ed. Tanisha. And Dez White with two Z's. And tonight. Dez has luscious, shiny lips. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry. Shout out to the makeup person that got carried away with the gloss. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks good. It really does look good with the new, you know, the facial hair and the, all of that. It, it, it's a metrosexual type of thing going on. He <laughs> <laughs> didn't say. <laughs> Is that it really is. Did you have this when you were with um, the Batty Broad? The thing that you have all this going? Not the glossy, but just the... No, no. Yeah, well, yeah, I had it. Yeah, it's just something new I'm trying out. Okay. Yeah, you know. So, yeah. so Des would like you all's feedback in terms of um, how he... I don't care. Because you're going to keep it anyway? Yeah, I might keep it for a little while. You know, the beard Are thing. you going to let it get full? Really full? No, no, no. I'm going to I am not going to do that. I just gonna trim it real thin to make it look like a chin strap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get to the show. All right. So our first question um, is actually a question that we um, I have seen before. Um, this came from Facebook a couple months ago, um, <clears throat> but I had some conversation with the young lady since then. So also make sure you go and like our Facebook page. Questionable content. I don't recall everybody, anybody saying that on the show that you should like our Facebook page. <laughs> you should like our Facebook page. <laughs> Questionable Thanks so content. much. And I can't ask you to like it. Why not? <laughs> yeah. I'm on Facebook punishment. Yeah. yeah. Ed has asked so many of you to like it that Facebook has put him on timeout. For, for the 14, second time. For 14 days. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So let's, um, let's get to this question. Um, it says, I'm engaged to be married in eight months. We've been together for almost five years. There was a little over 60,000 jointly saved for the down payment of our new home. Over the span of the last 24 months, I have managed to take a little here and a little there shopping, dining out, girls trips, etc. That 60,000 is now under 10,000 and I am mortified. <clears throat> I knew I was spending, but I never imagined that it was just to this trying to figure out she gonna give it back. She knew the ass whoop. By her mama, not her boyfriend. By her mama? Her oh, mama need to pull out a belt and beat her ass. Cause this ain't the first time she done did this bullshit. She got away with this before and she felt that she could do it again with a grown ass man. Her mama needs to step in and beat her ass, not the dude. Cause I don't believe in Domestic you know you asked this question before, right? The, yeah. But the thing about it, I told you this is something we're revisiting because she came back. Well, we had well, a lot tell of us what the she came back with. This is the same. What, shit but, before. But everybody on Facebook was asking, you know, whatever happened to the woman who spent up all the money? She is on the concrete. No, actually, she's not because I talked to her. She's not. And what they happened, they are still getting married. He forgave her. Um, and uh, he's Jermaine Dupri or somebody with money and a thing. I don't know anything. No, he's not. Money ain't a thing. <laughs> Remember? Ooh, Life in 1492 or 82 or whatever. <laughs> Shut up, 72. Yeah. But no. Um, it ain't tricking if you got it. So if this was your woman and she... She wouldn't be my damn woman. First of all, my woman know not to steal my damn money. Okay, but it's not stealing because they jointly put it in together. So it's not stealing if it's her money. That's her money, too. No, she, she made steal, it right. She didn't steal 30000 She stole fifty. So she stole her money, which would have been perfectly fine. And I'd have just left her ass. She can't steal her own money. Okay. 
So but what did exactly, she do? When she stole the other 20 is when she stole. But it, her name is on the account too, so she couldn't steal any money. Something. So she embezzled. <laughs> He's a. <laughs> she did not. That's what she, she did. did not embezzle. Okay, so basically, I'm just I'm just giving you a recap of. Well, then guess okay. what? I can't wait. So to where is she now? She recap life? with us and say he eventually left me, where and I'm giggling my ass is? off. And where he is she now with her life? What 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 is going on? She um, he forgave her. All right. They're still getting married. All right. Um. And she's, I guess she's making things right in terms of. Uh, she cooking steak every night? Mm. I don't. <laughs> I don't know anything about steaks. Oh, yes, you do. No. <sighs> the 14th just passed. We're going to bring that shit up, too. So how's she making it up? I don't know. Well, she's she's just, she's depositing more money. She's, he's not putting anything in the she account anymore. She's depositing a whole lot more. She, she's the only one that's, that's putting money back. Exactly. Away. Well, she's, she's doing, trying to make. He didn't force her to do this, though. From what she said, it's just something that she decided to do. Okay. To make it right. So I'm just giving you an an update on the young lady. He did not leave her, as you all said that he should. Oh, so, so this is a she's questionable an content servant right now. Update. Yes, it's a. Uh, she's an indentured servant. She is not a. <laughs> she did this because this is what she wanted to do, not because he forced her to do it, not because he said if you don't. She did then I this. I want to know how long this is gonna last of her being subservient and doing all of this. Because once they get a hey, dog, you bet not marry her until she put all that money back. Because once you get married, all bets are off. going on with Lil Wayne and Tone Loke. Huh? <laughs> Did you didn't hear about Tone Loke? Do they even go I together? I thought Tone Loke was dead. <laughs> that man is not dead. You know he's not dead. Tone Loke older than me. Tone Loke, do you know he's still performing? And how old is he? Like that one song? <laughs> he performing that one song? I don't know, but what happened I was, did like, he performing the one about butts and my posse on Broadway. That's it. Him and Kid Sensation. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just give it a second. That's not even the same person. That's not, yeah. that's not him. Oh, that ain't him? No. no. That's Sir Mix a lot. Oh! Tell yeah. Wild yeah. Oh. Wild thing. Wow. Yeah, so anyway, he's still performing. Okay. He collapsed on stage on Saturday. Um, Tone low. So why Tone Wayne Wayne got a problem about it? What? This is the second time that it's happened. I'm just saying it seems like a lot of entertainers are having health issues. Lately. What's wrong with Lil Wayne? Look, huh? What's wrong with him? You don't know what's wrong with Lil Wayne either? Yeah, he's, he had seizure. Yeah, he's in ICU. Oh, I didn't know that. He was in a medically I don't keep induced up with I do like that new song they came out with they played on radio when I was driving here, though. What? It's him. It's like old school. It's him and... Um... <laughs> what does this have to do with what we're talking about? I'm just asking. He like Tupac. Even if he's in the hospital, he got a new f***ing song came out. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I don't want Lil Wayne to die, but when he die, he'd be the only person who had more albums to come out than Tupac after the gun. I ain't know. You know, and the thing about it is, it, the, the huge uproar was that TMZ put out the story that the priest came in and, and read his last um, rites. No, you don't read last rites. What you read? Yeah, no, yeah. There yeah. are rites. Okay, I'm right. See that? Oops. Okay, so anyway, written said, you know, he, he was about to die, and so. As soon as he can ask for forgiveness, he need to start asking. Whether he died or not, just for forgiveness. And he needs to ask for forgiveness for what? A whole lot of righteous stuff. He don't, you know, I mean, shoot. You heard his songs? Okay, so the bottom line is, Codeine has taken over Lil Wayne's life. just going to braid it, blame this on Codeine. You don't know what he in there for. He said he do mushrooms and uh, all kind of damn drugs. Syrup and... All kind of sh- promethazine and all kind of sh- that. You just said codeine three times. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe it's some type of um, reaction to to the mixture of all of these drugs. I don't know. I just think that it's really sad. All he that- is like a line of cocaine. Wake his ass back up real quick. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
shit. Ed, Ed, seriously. I ain't lying. Stop it. What if the man dies? Seriously. I don't want to. He should have. They should have jumped his ass. Or they said that they pumped his stomach three times. Now, again, this is TMZ or whatever they call. I don't know. They ain't got to pump your stomach for, 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 for codeine. I'm just telling you what people said. I don't, I really Tell don't the, have the slightest idea. He need to get on cocaine and wake his ass back up. <laughs> Cody and Adderall, he'll be like this. We don't necessarily advocate <laughs> doing drugs. Exactly. Really? But apparently if you slow and need to wake I, up, just like cocaine you read, is the drug you read, of choice. <laughs> just like you read this shit right here, mm -hmm. since I'm an academic, mm -hmm. I understand what to wake your ass up. So you got Adderall mm -hmm. and then you got, uh, What's his, uh, what's up, George Bush daughters was going to get, um. George Bush's daughters? Yeah, they got like, caught with them little pills, uh. Some Adder candle balls. No, it's Adderall and other <laughs> stuff. The stuff joke. that you do when you're on cocaine to bring you and you need to go to sleep. Right. Let it cut it. I'll think of it in a second. What is it? <laughs> he know he just don't want to say you, He don't want to say so quickly. You want to tell us what it is? I don't know what it is. I'm not true. I think I'm going to say. Okay. I figured you all didn't know about Tone Loke. Y'all didn't keep no, up didn't. with Tone Loke. No, Tone Loke? Well, he had a what? He, 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 this is the second time that he's collapsed. He need the motherfucker work out. He's big, down somewhere. His big ass. I mean, he's older than Ed. Why is he still performing? And he's bigger than me. <laughs> Why? Okay. That's enough. Uh, that mother uh, breathing on her. <laughs> y'all have to forgive me. Um catching a cold. Or I guess I already caught it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna get close to this. So it says, my wife and I have been friends for a couple. No, that's not what it says. Sorry. Okay. Can we do that again? Thanks. Reading. It's fundamental. fundamental. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. So it says, my wife and I have been friends with a couple since college. We graduated together, vacation together. We were in each other's wedding. We threw baby showers, housewarming parties for each other, and the list goes on. Said, here's the deal. They are now getting a divorce, and my boy has asked if he could come and stay with us for a minute until he's able to get back on his feet. Somehow this has turned into taking sides with my wife. As I said that he could stay with us, and my wife said that it would be betraying her friend. Who is right? Is there a problem with getting involved in this? In other words, if Ed was going through a divorce, and you and your wife, we're friends with Ed and his wife. And Ed came and said, Des, can I stay with you for a minute? Come on. And your wife was like, uh, no, because that would be betraying Becky. And I don't want to get in the middle of that. Would you just tell Ed no? No, nah, tell Ed, come on. Tell my wife, shut the f up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what I do, if that's my dog and my boy, he needs somewhere to stay, man, come on, you can stay at the house. Well, it's not, but it's, it, you're close to both of them. Okay. And I tell her, look, I don't know what y'all got going on, but my dude needs somewhere to stay, so he, he over here at the house. Now, if you and my wife want to get together and not talk and don't, you know, y'all want to go hang out, you don't want to come over here because Ed over here, I completely understand that. Do your thing, but I'm just not about to just leave him out there like that. So, yeah, Ed going to be staying at the house. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with him. This ain't even a good ass question. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, don't say that. No, it's, it's one of them good female questions because they want the shit out. Oh, she mad, he mad, y'all can't be on his side, what? all that. F that. Okay, well, wow. Yeah. He comes stay. Just like if it was vice versa. And the only reason the lady know him is because you met him through me? No, they, they were all friends in college. Right. And guess what? What? Even after this divorce, they're going to be all friends again. Yeah. After he leave, she might. That's that good women, boy. Get on her damn We don't want to get in it, or we don't want to be pick a side. If we let him stay, he can't. First of all, I wouldn't have left. Me personally. You was gonna stay in your house. Hell yeah. I don't see. That's what dudes make the mistake. <laughs> you don't have to leave. You pay bills in there. Your name on the deed and and on the mortgage, just like hers. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> If it's a problem, she need to leave. I, or oh, you can get on your side and I'm going to get on my we'll side. We'll work it out how we work it out. But I'm not about to go out somewhere and be, I got to ask, hey, Ed, can I come stay at your crib, man? Because I'm leaving now. Nah, hell no. Nah. Mm -mm. She could go. Okay. Really? Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you, you don't want to be that dude that walk out on your house. You don't. 
Cause no matter, never get back in. You not, not only are you never gonna get back in, you gonna always be that sorry yeah, son of a bitch that left his house. I'm like, not leaving my do? kids. I'm not leaving the house. Period. I pay bills here. That's just like you living in the house. Somebody tell you you need to go smoke outside. F- that. You would not smoke in my house. What? You would not. It's gets in the clothes and the furniture. No. Marijuana does and cigarettes do. I don't I would, smoke cigarettes. I was gonna say you can smoke in the house then. Whatever. No, but I'm saying, fellas, you don't How always. You, I don't know why dudes always think they gotta leave. Don't be. That's what they want you to do, fellas. They want you to leave. Oh yeah, I, I just get on his nerve. And he gonna leave. He ain't gonna be able to take it. Then I got the house, and then we'll start from there. Hell no. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not really feeling this damn question. It's not about whether or not you feel it. The man just wants some advice. What do you he want to know? To, he just wants to know: Is it who? Is there someone that's right in this? Is he wrong for wanting to let his boy stay? Is what he's saying. No, he's and not you wrong. said no. no he how, said, long, how long? he gonna? He need to stay though. He just said until he's able to get back on his. No, feet. hell yeah, that's you wrong for that. Then. Well, so he you didn't need to give him a time limit. Like what's too long? Or Mother two? sixty days max. Two months. Damn right. Two months. Is that? Ed can stay as long as he need to stay a at your house. A grown ass, crusty ass man. You damn right. I ain't ever now, went back home to my mama house. Okay, you can stay with me for two months, and you need to find another motherfucking friend, or go make back up with your damn wife. One of the two. I mean, you can stay. I get longer than sixty days. I give him ninety. I get longer than two months. I mean, How long you gonna give him? Does he have a max? Are you gonna tell him when he comes in? Now look, you can only stay here for. Nah, I ain't really put no time limit You're on. not. No. Nah, you better, I'm not putting no time that, that'll be a problem. Then you're gonna ruin your friendship, and then your wife will say, I told your black ass so. <laughs> yeah, because I might be tired of him and her at the same time come two weeks. So then I'm like, hey, man, you know, man, I thought, yeah, I mean, I got you good. We good for two weeks, man, but the old lady is tripping, man, and I'm not getting none no more. So we gonna mm, have You to. got to go. You got to have some rules. Like, he gonna leave, like, in the first 72 hours if he drink your last beer. And then don't have no more. You come home from hard day work. Okay, so and he be drunk playing video games. So you put Dez out if he if you came home and Dez. Is I'm gonna give him a ten commandments. He got to get a damn go by. What? Don't don't do nothing like that. Why would you give your friend don't ten commandments? Call it. For real. And then you never had none of your friends drink your last beer. It's not that serious. Just go get some more. When I come home, I got to go. It ain't that serious. I got to go back out. Okay, I got you. Sound like this is going to right, be a look, personal turn for Ed <laughs> he, right now. He's had now. this happen it's, to it's, him. It's, it's, it I put hot like grits on his ass. Here. What? Damn right. All right. So at the end of the day, if you need somewhere to stay, you probably don't want to call Ed. Have I cussed yet? Yeah. I'm sure you have. But you didn't catch it. Oh, uh, I stopped paying attention when you stopped bringing the money. You reneged on that, so we just don't even pay like attention Like most anymore. females, they stop paying attention when you stop, stop bringing, bringing the money. Really? Really? <laughs> really? That's what you got out of this? That's what you got I mean, out of this? But since you asked? Reach. It's on the popping. I'm 34 and I have never had a serious long-term relationship. Crazy. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> what? That, that's, that's already there. So we can establish she crazy. Okay, first of all, let, let's establish this. Whoever it is that wrote this question is probably listening for the response. Did you call her crazy? At 34 years old and you've never been in a serious relationship? Hell yeah. Crazy. I'm waiting for the rest of the question. I'm I'm being patient. You're going to reserve your opinion. I have have virtues. Okay. She says, I'm 34 and I have never had a serious long-term relationship. Cool, cool. I meet guys and casually date, but I've never met a guy that I feel I could spend the rest of my life with. Freak. What? Freak. Oh my gosh! Can you okay? Can we just get to? 
she didn't went from being crazy What's to being question? free. Her question is this. She said, now that I'm ready to start a family, but I don't have a husband or even anyone close to a potential husband, I would like to ask a close male friend of mine to be a sperm donor. Do I know you? Bye. Because <laughs> I didn't got this call a couple of times. What? Yeah, yeah, I didn't. You know what? I didn't had a couple of women ask me this. A couple of them. What? They asked me, they was like, hey, Were you they know, in the hundred or outside shut up. the hundred? <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. Look, Ed. This ain't about you, man. Shut up. Okay, wait. She, can we just, can I finish this? You just, can. Okay. But I might know her. Okay, she said. What's her well, name? No, her name's not on here. It said, would I be out of line if I asked him to sign paperwork relinquishing all of his rights? I simply want a baby, but a baby with someone that I know and trust. See, now, I, you know, I'm going to tell you, I, I, do, I got to know this chick. Because I'm telling you, either that or it's a vicious thing going around right now. That, that That's the thing that women are doing. Because I didn't had a couple of chicks ask me this. Serious, square business. And... So what did they say? A couple of them were like, you know, I'm getting up in the age now. Woo, 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 woo. I'm thinking about having some kids. And, and like, a lot of them that, you know, I talk to, I tell them, I'm like, yeah, you know, I got two kids. And my kids is grown. And I would, I would, I was like, yeah, yeah, I would have some more kids. I said, but I'm not doing no more baby mamas. And they're like, all right, well, you know, maybe if we did this, you know, if I got you to sign this, you know, I wouldn't want you to, you know, have to pay child support or be obligated. Would you do it? And you said, no. Nah. Would you do it? Okay, I only because I ain't, if I got some kids, nigga, I, I kind of want to be, you know. So that was going to be my question. So you said you're not doing any more baby mamas. So it's a situation where, you would want to be married hmm. the next time that you do this? Or that's not, that it's not necessarily the situation? That ain't necessarily the situation. So we, well, how do you not have a baby mama if you have some more kids? She just come. I mean, we can, we can cohabitate. You know, we you ain't necessarily got to get married. We have some kids and that we have a kid. That's what it is. That's what it is. But I'm not about to donate. Then you have some kids, then you just run off and I don't never see my child or whatever it is no more. But if y'all are already good friends, I don't think she's going to run off. But I think what she's saying is, I'm not going to ask you for, I'm not going to ask you for child support. I'm not going to ask you. I she, just want you to that, sign. She said that. Right, we, can get, we can get paper, lawyers to draw paperwork and all that. And then that, and, I, and for some reason, I, that just didn't sit right with me. I felt some kind of way had I done it. Now, and and and, uh, and this is just recent. So it's not like that I wouldn't do it because I know so she's watching So you're contemplating. This. You're contemplating. I know she's watching You're this. still thinking about it? Yes, I am still thinking about it. So he just might give you one. But see, like I said, there are several that had asked me that. Okay, but I have a question now. This is kind of off the subject, but still on the subject. So if you say, okay, I'm going to do this, and this is just a friend of yours that you've never really had a connection with in that manner. You didn't really date. This is just one of your girls. Yeah. Okay, so would you would you have sex with her? In order That's to the only way you're getting it out of me. I'm not about to just put it in a cup and make some test tube, baby. Hell no. I mean, if you're gonna, if it's gonna be mine, I'm gonna enjoy something of it. I mean, I'm not gonna get paid. So you wouldn't. You have to have. I have to. Okay, what is the difference? What you mean? What, what you mean? What's the difference? What I'm saying, if all you're doing is you don't even touch yourself, so you know what the does difference. that have to do? My point is. If the woman is looking for a child, right, and you've said, okay, I will do this. You got to put some skin in the game, literally and figuratively. But you said you don't want to get married. I would, okay. depending. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. But like, the worst dude should have had sex with. I'm not a <laughs> not getting married. Yeah, then you don't really want to have no baby. No, okay, but so, no, okay, so then no. But see, the issue becomes this: when it's when when she when you put it in a cup and it goes through all of the the process, the she's point? more likely to. Get pregnant. So that means because, we can't because, have sex just once. That, that that's the thing. Need, that's the thing, I need right to hit there. A bunch of times till it happens. See, maybe she doesn't is not Especially looking for. when you know when you ovulating and all that kind of shit. When you didn't wrote I'm the dates done. down and I'm all done. that, then we know how to hook it up. And then if it happens, I mean, come on, man, we got to get somebody to strong, deal. So they get like there. Like I said, you ain't we ain't do. I mean, you done picked me out of all the dudes you know. Just saying. Come on. <laughs> just saying. So both of you must have. Let me tell you something. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you. One, you know, of the the chicks, the day, one of the chicks that asked me, she's actually dating a chick right now. Oh, I'm down with them. I get both of them. Get damn baby. So basically, they want the baby for their relationship. Is that I, what I, you? I would assume, yeah. You should do both of them and see which one had to get pregnant first. No, nah, the what? other one. One of them is not really what I'm into. No. Yeah. Is she? Is the one? Is she's the grand, other one kind of manly? Head. She got a fade. Not really. Don't do that. 
with a chick. Don't bring that back up. Yeah. Please don't. No, 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 she didn't. Why not? Try, okay, I tried to do all that, and first of all, no, 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 I ain't got no games. <laughs> I'm no game. not, first of all, hey, let me just, I'm, I'm not with you. Stick, stick, stick with me, did you hear that part of it? Stick with me, stick with me. You're the man's man. <laughs> you do you, let me do my job. I got you. Listen to me. Y'all out of control. Nigga, I see you. Exactly. I didn't see him at work. You are a self centered, selfish ass motherfucker who only gets telephone numbers for yourself. You done been out with Rock Cash. Ain't none of them girls have you said, hey, I got a partner. We got a show called Who Wants to Date Ed? He's a good dude. You are a single, singularly focused. Getting machine, <laughs> okay. okay? Everything is for you. Mm -hmm. Enough, you are. What we call that is you are oh, a enough for me ass. <laughs> as long I, as you eat, uh -huh. let, you cool. Let, let, let me clarify something for you, okay? Now, not once did you say, "Hey, Steve, I, you, I be your wingman, or whatever." You ain't never came at me like that. If I'm gonna be out there in the streets, it's my job. You in the studio. This is what I do out there. So therefore, I'm gonna be selfish. I'm gonna go out there and get it for my damn self. If you say, if Dan's coming, like, "Hey, Steve, look, I'm looking for somebody." I got you, D. I got you. Whatever why, you need, you let me know. Why a dude gotta tell you that? If you meet a nigga... Because I don't know what you're doing on your own. You may be racking them up. I don't know. I'm not in your business like that. All you need to say is, hey, you know what, Steve? I need something. I got you. That's all you gotta say. Close miles and get fed. You learned that in the 80s, player. Tell in the 70s. Anytime I have an opportunity to spread the wealth to my boys, Everybody. So eats. you tell Big Chick about me? Did you tell her Big Chick? Because you know she got friends. You tell Big Chick about me? First of all, I haven't. I dealt with Big Chick. Did you tell Big Damn Chick about me? Video. Did you tell Big Chick about me? You know why? Shut up. You know Yourself why? Because they up there. First of all, first of all, first of all, because you out of there. First of all, of all, first of all, first of all Rakesh didn't even want to come and take that. Nothing to do with the question. Did you tell about me? Did you tell about me? Are you listening to me? Did you tell about me? About me? Hey man. Hey, did you tell about me? Let me tell you something. Uh, Watch it. Hey, did you tell about me? First of all. Hey, did you tell about me? First of all. It's a question. Yes or no? Hell no. Alright, that's you yourself. And you self centered. No, no. The deal is this. Is that I'm not ever once questioned your pimping. I'm not questioning your pimping. Your bitches. You have. You said that was the first question. Is that ain't shit. I'm dating. No! He did. No, no, and no. Look. Listen where I'm coming from, because you, you're getting offended here. Listen no, I'm what I'm not. saying. Listen. Let me tell you something. No, listen oh, what I'm saying. No, listen. I can't get offended. No, listen what my, I'm saying. Not, not only me, you got my, me. Listen. my chicks are certified. No, listen. Ed is certified. Listen what I'm and saying I'm here. No, you got to listen what I'm saying. I have friends that's like and me, frat no, brothers. That's like me seeing Dez walk Look, into a room. I but, have friends and frat brothers that try to convince me to talk to regular ass uh, bitches before, just because they do, or to uh, just talk to anything. Uh, uh, I'm 44, you can't convince me to do a damn thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, the peer pressure don't work for me, mother right. Peer pressure ain't right. crypt tonight to me. That one wasn't cute at all. Of uh, either one of us, we're gonna redo right. that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh, you yeah. did panorama thing? Yeah. My face all up in the camera. Oh, oh hilarious. <laughs> Um, what now? Okay, that's just like me seeing Dez walk into a room, right? Full of chicks my age. I know Dez is not older than me. So I'm gonna feed him before he walk in. I'm like, hey, look, D. They like this, they do this. You know what I mean, you can say stuff like this. I'm gonna feed him. I mean, not saying he don't got it, but I'm just equipping my man with the equipment that he needs to get the job done. That's it. That's all I'm doing. So that's all I'm telling you, D. Like, if you walk into a room with me, I got you. I'm gonna equip you. Don't get offended. I just know that I'm a little younger than you. Mother <laughs> and the bitch. You don't like nobody tell you nothing. But it's great though. It ain't that. It's that if they ain't, my whole thing is, I'm stuck in my damn way. You if are. she ain't attracted to Ed. When y'all going back out? I gotta go out two seconds this week. So I'm not mother <laughs> cowarding to, and, 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 to no bitch. 